the Northwest Passage is only seen by a lot of people as just a passage from Europe to Asia, but I'm trying to avoid seeing it as just for like explorers for cruise ships. That's Inuit land. To some people, it's the last frontier that they want to discover. They want to go and explore it. Uh, back when there was a lot of ice, we weren't so concerned because there was no ship passage. But now, things have changed. Now it's become important that we keep an eye on it. The private ships and the smaller sailboats, they have increased a lot in the last five to ten years. I think it's increasing now, especially the cruise ships. And right now where it stands, we don't even know who's coming and when they're coming. In our community, we're getting more and more ships going by. People outside of the Arctic are interested in shipping and getting supplies there and invested for economical reasons. Because it will bring a lot of economic benefit for those that are able to travel through the Northwest Passage. They're interested in the natural resources and the bounties that can be got from the North. They want money. It's all about money. Profit, gain, money. That's uh, Bottom line. Everything has a ripple effect. What kind of ripple effect will shipping have on Inuit life? We've been having uh, like uh, meetings regarding shipping and the concerns that we might have and what the benefits or negative impacts that might take place. It raises a lot of questions. What is it going to mean for the people that live there? What kind of implications is it going to have on the wildlife? And a shipping disaster would take years to clean up. Of the mammals we depend on for food, how much will they be affected by shipping? How much will their hunting routes be affected? Ships are loud, you know, and, and there's discharge of who knows, invasive species maybe that leach on to the, to the bottom of the ships. It means destroying a travel route and potential contaminants and pollutants. Well, when you consider the high cost of food, the high cost of living, what's the best, cheapest way to help Northerners when it comes to dealing with those issues? It's a lifeline now for, uh, for the communities, for supplies, food, and just everyday necessities. The only benefit I can see really is in the summer when it's open water to bring in supplies that aren't readily available. We have to be part of that industry so that we benefit economically for our own purposes.